friends, my name is Carolyn. I am the founder of Loud Girl Goodies. I am a plant-based edible chef and I've been doing it for about four years. And today I'm partnering up with Green Goddess Supply to bring you some fun vegan recipes that you can make at home using your own infusions. So we're gonna be using Bud Today, Blackstrap, grown in the armoire system that Green Goddess sells, and the Butter Brewer, which is an infusion machine. So the first step in making edibles is to decarb our weed. We have our black strap ground up here, and the importance of decarboxylating the bud is because it releases the THC from the THCA. Heating up the plant will allow the THC to come out. If you just bake with bud like this without decarbing it, you're not gonna feel anything. So this machine, the Butter Brewer, will do it all. You can decarb in this machine. You just have to set a couple settings like temperature, time, and then there's also this agitator in here that will mix the bud as it's decarbing so that all of the bud gets equally decarbed. We got our temperature set to 225. We're gonna leave it in here for 35 minutes and we're gonna set the agitator to rotate for a minute every five minutes. So you just lift the handle here. You'll see the agitator in here. You take your bud, we have about a half ounce here, and we just go ahead and dump it into the butter brewer machine. Pretty simple. After this, close up the lid, turn it to the center position, and then you're just gonna press the start button after you have all of your settings set. Temperature is 225 degrees, time 35 minutes. Everything is all set here. We're just gonna go ahead and start. As you can see here, the agitator is spinning in the butter brewer machine. This is so that the bud moves around and gets evenly heated. We're waiting for the bud to decarb. Eric was showing me the armors that he has in his living room. Look at these things. I mean, it's just everything that you need. There's fans in here, there's a scrubber, there's a light, adjustable light that goes up and down. So, so cool. I'm learning so much. All right, so the Butter brewer just went off. Let's check on the bud. We're gonna flip it open here. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Wow. So in the instructions, you have to take this off to cool for a little bit before you add the coconut oil. So let me just take this off. We're just gonna set it right on the counter to cool. I'm using coconut oil today because I'm a plant-based chef, um, but you can use butter, olive oil, MCT oil, anything that you fancy. Really. The bud is all cooled down now. We're gonna put it back into this machine and the butter brewer knows exactly how to infuse oil and butter and tincture. It has specific buttons for the three. We use the DIY mode for the decarbing, but here you just press oil and you press start. So we used a half ounce of flour. We're gonna put in a cup of oil. So measure this out real quick. Again, I'm using coconut oil. I love using coconut oil because it's really high in saturated fats, which really loves picking up the THC. This butter brewer machine really is incredible though. I usually am brewing my oil in a crock pot for about four days and with the presets here to make oil, it takes an hour, which is pretty incredible. So we're just gonna add the oil here. Beautiful. I'm gonna give it a little stir. And again, this will just be ready in about an hour's time. And then it'll be all ready to use. Close up the lid, turn it to the center, press the oil button, press start. Doesn't get easier than this, really. The agitator is spinning again. I'm not sure what the frequency is because I just am using the oil preset. But again, this will help to distribute the heat really evenly so that the oil gets super potent and evenly distributed. This oil looks fantastic. Next, we're going to strain it with this mesh strainer bag that actually comes with the machine. Just set it in any type of container. We're gonna use a four cup measuring cup here. First, we're gonna scrape off all the excess bud from the agitator. Make sure we get all of that goodness in there. And then, it's still a little hot, so I'm gonna go in with some hot pads here. Oops. And carefully, very carefully, we are going to dump this just right into the strainer. Again, carefully. And this fine mesh strainer will just separate the flour from the oil so that in the bottom 
the thing. We just get the pure oil, no sediment. I'm gonna scoop all of the oil out of this container. Make sure you get every last drop. And once it does cool down, I like to use my hands in the fine mesh strainer to just squeeze out all of the oil from the bud. We let it sit here for a while to strain. All right, I think I got it all. And then once it's cooled down a little bit more, we'll lift this up from here and we'll squeeze out this bottom section of the strainer so that all of the oil comes out from this strainer into the cup. For our most advanced recipe today, if you're feeling a little bit adventurous, we're gonna make some cinnamon rolls from scratch. These are no Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, let me tell you. And they're fully plant-based. So today I'm using oat milk, plant-based butter, earth balance butter, sugar, and yeast, active dry yeast. So first we'll start out with a cup of the milk at room temperature. So make sure to let it sit out for a little bit. You can use almond milk, pea milk, oat milk, anything you really have on hand. Get the milk in there, and then you wanna melt the butter in the microwave. So it wants to be a little bit warm so that when we add the yeast, it starts to eat up all of those sugars in there and it activates. So we're adding the hot butter to our room temperature oat milk. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar, sprinkle that over top. We're gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Once everything is fully incorporated here, we're gonna just sprinkle the yeast right on top. So we got a half packet of yeast here. We're just gonna carefully sprinkle it on top. You want it to be evenly placed over this wet mixture and you wanna let it set for about five, seven minutes. You'll start to smell the yeast activating here and it'll start to look a little foamy, puffy on top. And that's when you'll know to add the flour and the salt. But we're gonna let this rest for about five minutes. So we have let our yeast mixture set. It smells incredible. Next, we're gonna add our infused oil, our flour, and our salt. So we're making about 10 cinnamon rolls and we want them to be 20 milligrams each. So for this oil, it's about 211 milligrams per tablespoon. I did the math, we're gonna use two teaspoons of oil, coconut oil, into this mixture, tap, tap. give it a little stir, and again the exact measurements are going to be written down, so if you need to refer to the ingredients, the measurements, just give, get the printout, the PDF, and follow that. All right, this is nice and combined. We are next going to add our two and a half cups of flour and a half teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna mix this until just combined. You don't wanna over mix it, but it'll take a couple minutes here to mix. And then you are going to leave the dough in a cool place to rise for about an hour. So we're starting to get there, just a little bit more mixing. Make sure it's fully incorporated, the flour and the dough. It'll become quite sticky, that's okay. And as it rises, it's gonna become a little more wet and you're gonna add a little bit more flour later on in this process. When you cover it, um, you can cover it with a wet rag or saran wrap, whatever you have on hand. Make sure it's a cool place out of direct sunlight. This looks about good to me. So we're gonna wrap this up with saran wrap, set it over on the counter and let it rise for about an hour. So our dough has been rusting for a little over an hour. It has doubled in size. It has all of these nice pores in it and everything. It looks beautiful. So. We're gonna unwrap this, carefully remove the film from the top. 
and we're gonna add in another half cup of flour and incorporate that. Just add it right to the top here. I'm gonna add it a little bit at a time. And then we're just gonna mix it in, fold it in a couple times. think this looks like enough flour for me so I'm not going to add any more. I am however going to sprinkle a little bit of the remaining out onto our surface. We're going to knead it just a little bit and then roll it out. It's my favorite part. Get in there with your hands. Make sure all of the flour is incorporated into the dough so that it's not sticking to your hands. This is looking all right, so we've got it all incorporated in there. It's not sticky whatsoever. My hands are completely clean. We're gonna go in with our rolling pin and we're just gonna start rolling this dough out. It's gonna take a little bit of time here, but it'll be worth it in the end. So I have rolled out the dough. We're gonna make 10 cinnamon rolls. So roll out this dough however long you want it. It should be a rectangle shape, so a little bit longer this way, a little bit shorter this way, and we're going to roll it up this way so that we have a big log. First step is to take your earth balance butter and just start spreading it on the top of here. We just finished spreading the butter on the entirety of the dough here. Next we're going to go in and we're just going to eyeball the amount of brown sugar that we want here. We want to evenly distribute the brown sugar on the top of this surface. You can put as much or as little as you want. Go in with just a little bit more here and then I'm going to smooth it out just to kind of see where we're at. Add a little bit more for good measure. All right, that looks good to me. And then we're gonna go in, usually with cinnamon, but today I brought pumpkin spice. So we're just gonna start to sprinkle this over top, give it a little bit more of a flavor. In pumpkin spice, it's cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and um, ground ginger. So it gives it a little more depth of flavor here. That looks good to me. And then we're gonna start the rolling process. So you start with the end closest to you and you start to lift up the edges over here and just roll it into a log shape. Kind of move back and forth like this to make sure that the layers are even. Finish off the roll. Beautiful. I'm gonna scooch in the edges so that we have one big shape and we're going to cut this into 10 pieces. All right, this looks great. Come in with our knife. I always like to go half first and then start on either side. So I'm just going to place my knife and try to get the best spots that looks good to me. So we'll start here. And of course, this is not gonna be super even, so each edible might be between 15 to 25 milligrams, but if you're making this at home for yourself, for your friends, this can be a really nice treat, even if it's not entirely accurate. And then we're gonna place it into our buttered pie dish here. So I went ahead and spread some butter all around. I'm gonna grab these middle pieces first. Beautiful little cinnamon rolls. I always start with the center and you want to make sure to evenly space out these cinnamon rolls because they will expand as you're baking them. So I usually put seven per dish here. So we have four, five, six, we're going to put one more, which makes it seven. Evenly distribute the cinnamon rolls. And then once you bake it, it's going to fill up this whole entire dish here. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for I believe 25 minutes. Again, it's all written down. I like to check in on it 
Um, but yeah, that's how you make cinnamon rolls. These were just rising for 30 minutes. I put saran wrap on top and now they're ready to go into the oven. We're gonna bake them for 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We've already got it preheated, so we're gonna stick these in and come back 35 minutes later. It smells outrageously good in this kitchen right now. It is time to take the cinnamon rolls out. I'm very excited. I'm gonna reach in. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Oh, they're bubbling. It smells incredible. All they need is some icing to go on top and it, it's perfect. Joining me today, again, my name is Carolyn from Loud Girl Goodies. And as you can see in front of me, we've baked our baked goods today from start to finish with everything homegrown, starting with our organic cannabis grown in the armoire system that's sold on Green Goddess Supply, all the way to the butter brewer machine, which can decarb and infuse your oil, which gives us our final product, this beautiful dark infused coconut oil. I do wanna say one thing about the coconut oil, be careful how you're dosing your goods. So start small. As you can see in the videos, I'm using a very minuscule amount of oil. If you want, you can always go get your oil tested at a lab. If you're in a state with adult use cannabis, you can buy at home testing machines, but just make sure to start small, maybe with an eighth of a teaspoon, then work up to a quarter teaspoon. Don't try to put a half cup of oil into one batch of brownies. That will give you very strong product. Um, and of course we have our cinnamon rolls here. So I hope everyone enjoys these videos. Please let us know what you think and we'll see you soon.